So I'm going to ask the same question I did on the first one about Mark Hitmer. You know, we kind of detached that. We approached that from the perspective of, okay, someone, do, do you actually feel that NCAA needs to do more? Like, do we even know what they already do? I'm glad you asked. So uh, the answer to that first question is no. Um, so here's the thing. So everyone wants to blame the NCAA for all the problems and all the issues when it comes to college sports at the schools in which the NCAA governs, right? But for whatever reason, people seem to ignore the middle step in all this. Well, not just this, but everything. What about the schools themselves? Right? When it comes to addressing any issues with, with students, including mental health, what is a school doing about, about all this stuff? Why just NCAA? Guess what? Those players don't play for the NCAA. They play for that school. They represent that school, not the NCAA. And so, and also all about steps, right? If, if I'm a student in need of physical health uh, assistance or mental health assistance, who's at, who's at closer hand to be able to help them? Is it the NCAA or somebody in the office at the school that they already attend? So it seems like it's kind of, you're approaching it from the perspective of, oh, we need to put more focus on universities um, and what they're doing. And in, ad- in addition to what more can the NCAA do as well? So I'm not saying exactly NCAA can't do more. Of course they can. We're talking about mental health, people's lives, obviously. But I think people need to stop ignoring when it comes to all college sports issues. Is stopping, you know, start focusing also in addition to the NCAA. What is the school? What are the schools doing? Like, for example, a student who committed suicide at Arizona State. Okay, what does Arizona State do for kids who have mental health issues? And I don't want no, I don't know how much I want to go into this when it comes to uh, on the show. I'll figure that out for myself. But so at the NCAA, there is a line that student athletes can call whenever two one they are feeling like they're having mental health issues, and two if they feel like their issues when it comes to mental health are not being helped by the coach or people at the school when it comes to the situation. And oftentimes, whenever those students call and say, hey, my coach wasn't doing this or doing that, or they are doing this and it's not helping helping me out at all. Whenever we, from the NCAA, inform the school of this situation, that what we've been told in general, and we leave the students' names out of it if we can, at that point, we you know, tell the school and the athletic department or people higher up at the school, hey, this is what we're finding out from, from a student or a athlete or multiple athletes or entire team. This is what's going on. What does the st- school do from there? That's also an important step well. Now, obviously, we can't necessarily say what a school has to do with their resources or whatnot. But at the same time, when we give them the information about what was told to us directly from a student or parent in some cases... What does the school do with that information? So that's another thing I'd say, instead of just focusing on the NCAA, what is the school doing for any of their athletes when it comes to mental health? Is there anyone on staff that can address these issues and is readily available for these student athletes when they do have mental health issues as opposed to them, you know, having nothing or just relying on the NCAA, which should not, should not be the case. I... And it's really hard for me to even like position it like, oh, but we want the NCAA to do more. I'm like, one, like Jason, we already, I know from just from talking to you previously, like the NCAA does a lot on that front. And I feel like the universities also do quite a bit, not just for student athletes, but just students in general. Okay. Okay. 